Hi friends, this is Susie, your gaming guru. It is March 6th, 2021, and I've got something new on my board. It says, Golden Path, you're currently one of the best players. Congratulations! The Golden Path shimmers only for a chosen few. Okay, so it's on one of my profiles, and most folks know I have several profiles and different platforms and things. And the funny thing is, this is this is the one where I probably make the least level progress because this is the profile I use mostly to go back and redo older levels that have changed. But for some reason, this is the profile that is saying that I'm one of the best players. So again, King gives to some people and not to others. And this is what I have on this platform. So I'm going to go ahead and play it. I have to try to figure out what this is all about. I've got 47 hours to complete it. It says I get 15 minutes of striped wrapped color bomb and fish. That presumably is the prize. I don't start with that, I think. But I think I, I already have like a free hour of striped wrapped for getting the daily prize. So even though I normally don't start with boosters. On little events like this, I may sometimes, especially because the timing just fits that way. I'm not going to wait an hour to get this done. Who knows if it might not be here. Sometimes things on this profile just disappear. And it looks like I have to complete three levels to get these, which makes sense because this isn't a very long time for my uh, timed boosters. As a matter of fact, so few levels have fish and so many levels take me at least 15 minutes that it's very unlikely I'd even be able to use this. But let's just jump in and see what this is about. Let's go ahead and see what we can do. Uh, on these uh, little mini event, mini game boosters, sometimes we get to select our boosters here after we see the board, which I think is wonderful. But I'm not going to use boosters to get boosters. So I'm going to start with my striped raft that showed up for me uh, for a t because I have it as a timed booster and I'm not going to use any of these and I'm not going to use any of these either. Again, I don't like to invest boosters to earn boosters, especially investing my storable boosters, which I put a premium on to get timed boosters, which aren't very helpful. All right, so 27 moves to collect four ingredients. The ingredients come from here. I've got one already here, and I have to get it somewhere down the board. So I've got marmalade and frosting to get through on this one. I want to make the best choices possible. Now there's a conveyor belt that may take things just as far as here, but not all the way over. So if it's over on this side, I'm going to try to stay over on this side. And if I collect one ingredient or two ingredients from here, Oh, this level looks extremely familiar to me. I'm sure I've played it in the reality levels. So what I'm going to try to do is just make sure that all of my ingredients get to be collected over here. I don't know if I'll be able to do that. Sometimes I have a limited number of moves, or sometimes I can't help but do things like this, which may open up an ingredient path over here. Now I need to get these down at this time. I could take out something. I think I'm going to go ahead and do something wild like this to open this up and keep looking to see, is there something that I could take out that would help? If I take out red, this would drop off the conveyor belt and be in this area. This would open up here. It wouldn't drop this down. But I have a fairly decent move I can take. I can make this move, which is going to create some cascading. So I'm going to take a good move while I have it. And when I cease to have good moves, or when this presents a better move, I'll use this. That's going to be my plan. And if this blows up, no big deal. It will have taken out the most prevalent color on the board. I think it's time to use it, though. I'm going to take out all blue, which is going to drop this down and drop this down. I've got another ingredient coming through. Now what should I do? I've got a lot of things I could do here wrapped candy, striped candy, oh another color bomb. Yeah I'm gonna take that one. And then definitely I'm going to go ahead and do this and see how far that gets me. There's only one more ingredient and I've managed to keep it on this side which I was able to clear out. If I can just get an orange to appear here on this conveyor then I can be done and I can drop this down and there we go. There's that first level of this event completed. Now, sometimes on these little mini games, all I have to do is complete 
the three levels in the amount of time given, and I get any number of attempts to do that. Sometimes if I lose level two, I have to drop back all the way down to level one. Or if I lose, you know, I could get through these and then get to level three and then lose and have to cycle back down. I'm not exactly sure how this operates. Let's see what the next thing to do is. 25 moves to remove 100 of the toffee swirls. These are the same things as waffles, so they will act like waffles. But right now I'm stopped because this is where they come from and they're wrapped up in these sugar chests. So I need to collect sugar keys to get there. I'm not going to hit anything there. I don't even think I have to hit play. I think I just make a move and it, it goes away. I need to get these sugar keys to open the sugar chests. I've got a few stripes coming down from this dispenser. So I'm thinking this isn't going to be awful. There's to open them. And then I have this to collect them if I can maneuver it. Or I still want to get this open as well. Is there anything I can do to combine things? Ah, oh, it's not going great for me. I can't get this to operate with these guys. But I could do this and open things up a bit further and make a better path for myself. And then I do this. Eh, not the best moves I'm making. But it's actually working out fairly well. Now I'm infested with these, I want to just call them waffles. It's just so much easier if we can call them what they were for years. Uh, so I have to figure out a way to uh, take care of them. And the best way would be wrapped candies. And look what I have over here, wrapped dispensers. So if there's any way I can collect these keys, for some reason these keys aren't sliding downward, so let's collect that way. All right, striped wrapped is really powerful through all of these. And it's going to hit this, which is going to make more wrapped candies for me. There we go. So at this point in time, I think the best thing to do is to create as much chaos as possible. I could do that by getting stripes and wraps, um, or by taking out colors that aren't very prevalent. Orange and, well, there are a lot of colors that aren't very prevalent right now. I'm going to go ahead and do this because it swipes through here. It does bring down a stripe. I don't see how to get that color bomb opportunity, but look at this. Getting a wrapped and then having this slide down, that looks like a really good way to make progress on a board like this. For every turn that I have, I only have to collect two of these because I have 10 moves and less than 20. So I'm looking at good odds for myself here. Um, do I do this, which takes out two? Do I do this, which only takes out one, but I'm going to do this because I think the, the wrapped will just drop down anyway, won't they? Yes, they will. I'm going to do this and try to get a stripe to set up with the wrapped. That worked beautifully. So I can get a lot done there. All right, so that's how I beat level two. And these are listed as normal levels, so thankfully they're, they're not providing too much resistance to me. <sighs> but still, it's a little stressful, right? Especially because I don't know what happens if I lose. All right, <laughs> it's going to tell me about this new feature, Dark Chocolate. And for some people playing this game, it might be a new feature. I should probably pay a bit more attention to explaining the features, because if you're on level 200 and you're getting this as a mini game, you may not understand these. Uh, even though on this, I'm, you know, I'm in the 3000s. So dark chocolates are like milk chocolates, which I think just about everybody knows, except they can be up to three layers thick. And instead of only growing outward, they could choose to grow outward or they could choose to grow upward. And so I have to take care of those. I've got licorice swirls. 
If I take out licorice swirls on a turn, no new licorice can form. But if I fail to take out licorice swirls, similarly to the chocolate, to the dark chocolate and the milk chocolate, if I don't take out a licorice swirl, then more might come down if I make a move under here. Sometimes there's a one or a two turn delay. But I'm taking one out now, and I've got to take out a lot because I've got jelly to get rid of. I've got to get rid of all the jelly on the board. This looks like a pretty good idea. It's using up one of those specials that I've collected. Notice the chocolate isn't growing yet. While it's in its bounds, it's not producing anything, which is silly because it could. But sometimes on some levels, you have to open things up before it starts to produce. Now I'm, I can take out either a chocolate or licorice. I can't take out both. I'm going to do this because it allows me to get a stripe. I've still got marmalade on the board. All I have to do is make a match next to it. It goes away. Uh, on this board, I have to figure out where the best place is to focus. What's going to be the most difficult area? Is it up here because I'm going against gravity? Is it what's under the chocolate because I can't see if there's jelly under the chocolate? Or is it down here uh, because it's isolated by candy cane fences, which is also something uh, new to people in lower levels. These candy cane fences are barriers, so it prevents me from being able to make some of the specials I'd like to make. Oh, look at this. I get a color bomb. I get to send off this stripe, which is going to then activate the color bomb, which will take out the most prevalent color on the board, which I think is blue, so it'll also take out chocolate, and I'm taking out licorice. So this is a good move. Even if I don't get to choose what I'm using that color bomb for, it creates a lot of opportunity, a lot of opening here. All right, so that cleared out a lot. Now I know this area isn't one I need to focus on. This gets taken care of just by all of these cascades that occur. I'm still stuck over here. This can still grow up that way. This is stuck, but it can still grow upward into three layers, presumably. Uh, let's see. I could make this, but it doesn't take out anything on its own. Same with this. So I think what I'm going to do is make a move in here and try to get things functioning this way. I could take out this wrapped, and that would create a lot of chaos. But if I could pair it up with something else, it would be even better. So I'm going to do this and keep trying to get more specials in through here. Yes, the chocolate is bothering me. But if I can make combos, oops, then I can try to take care of it. I could do this, which would take out chocolate. I'm wondering if the chocolate's going to be the most difficult because of how much uh, it's cordoned off by those candy cane fences. I could make this stripe. Oh, I do still have some jelly up here. I didn't even notice that. Oh. I'm actually, even though this is on a jelly, I'm going to do this because I'm intrigued by the green. So the green helped out. I can take out a licorice doing this and try to pair this up with something. Well, see how the candy cane fence prohibits me from matching these five purple? That's not so good. I could put these two together, and it would help take out a chocolate and a licorice, but it's not much. I need, I need bigger than that. I need striped wrapped at least, if not color bomb something. All right, let's see. This one may be my downfall here. Oh, I like this. I can take something out directly. I don't think there's jelly under there. Let's take a look at the jelly I have on the board. Maybe I already cleared that out. Maybe there is still jelly, because I don't feel like I have a lot here. Two, four, six, eight. Yeah, I've got jelly to deal with under these. Only 12 moves left. Oh, there goes my wrapped candy that I took a while to create. Now I've got that, but... 
I've got to get under the chocolate and then I have to remember where I've gotten under and where I've cleared out those jelly from. Should I do this? It would take out jelly here. I think I'm going to. And also I might end up pairing this up with a stripe based on the just the way things flow. Not quite yet. This doesn't populate because of the chocolate. Yeah, I've got problems on this board. I'm going to do this, which takes out a chocolate directly and creates opportunities for Cascade. Oh, I want those together. I'm going to keep taking out chocolate while I've got the chance. Bye. Oh, yeah, I'm going to do that. Okay, now this I really want to pair up with another special. I can take out a chocolate and make a blue stripe and take them off the conveyor belt. Now I don't know that I have enough blue stripe to get this done, but I at least have enough blue stripe to make some progress. All right. One, two, three, four, presumably five, six, seven, eight. If I can't take chocolate out right now, it can grow, and I'm not going to take chocolate out besides the fact that I don't think I can. I'm going to do this, and I'm going to hope that I've got some purple that could combine here. If I wait on the conveyor belt, that's not going to bring purple over. If I do this, if I do anything other than take this, bad things can happen. There's purple over here. I'm going to call it good enough and try to get some progress on this. Okay, so that side's gone, and as I feared, this side is still polluted. I only have two moves. All right, well, at least we're going to find out if I have to go all the way back to the bottom or if I get to keep my position on the top. And at least I now know where the most difficult area is, where I need to focus the most. I'm trying to get a color bomb in there. Not that I have time to do anything with a color bomb. All right, so let's see where this leads us. Ah, look at this. I still get to play level number three. And I understand the love level so much better now. So what I'm going to do is pause the recording, come back without the microphone, and I'll come back on the microphone when there's something important to say. Be right back.
Okay, so I think I got this worked out now on my second attempt. This striped wrapped, oh, or this striped wrapped will be able to reach over here. So that's also a problem because even though we took out the chocolate, this never populated. All right, so that is done. Let's see if we get our reward or if there's anything else to this little event here. Now, remember, I can't do anything if you haven't been invited to this event. Different people get different things, and it could be based on profile or location or platform. This one seems profile specific since I have it only on this profile, and I'm in the United States, and, you know, I'm playing on the same platform on my PC. So, yeah. All right, let's take a look. We get to claim the prize. And that's what we get. Now these are flashing and I'm not exactly sure why. I think it's just a glitch. Eh, it's weird. But what I'm going to do is pause the recording again and just test and see if I can get another 15 minutes by playing these levels through, which presumably will be easier because I'll be starting with these three uh, boosters. So be right back with, um, my conclusion in just a moment. Okay, the moment of truth. I was able to get another 15 minutes worth of prizes. Uh, and it looks like I could go ahead and start this again. I don't want to. I really don't want to. Uh, so let's quit this. Actually, let me see something for a moment. It's not going to tell me uh, about my boosters here. Uh, the ones that I've earned. Let's exit out of this. Let's go into this and we can see that I earned 15 minutes and then another 15 minutes. It took me so much time to earn the extra 15 minutes that I basically gained five minutes out of it because it took me 10 minutes to win it. So, and then this again, I started with something here. So I could keep building up that time over and over or more sensibly get 15 minutes worth, use it on the normal levels when it runs out, go back and if it, the event is still there, earn 15 minutes more. So that is my information to you. Once I get out of this, does it show up in my events? Yes, it does. The Golden Path, and I still have 47 hours to play it. So hopefully you have this or something similar. Sorry if you don't, but it doesn't mean you won't ever get it. It just means you don't have it right now. Thanks so much for watching, and please put your comments and questions below. Bye-bye.